Welcome. In order to check whether a logged in user is an admin, we need to create another table that we call roles. So this is my users table in kickoff users. And as you can see, it has ID, email, password, phone, created, modified. But then it needs to, a user needs to be, have a role. You understand? So we create a roles table. And I'm just going to click here. We'll create a roles table. And um, we'll call it roles. Or you can call yours anything, but as long as it will help you to figure out uh, determine which role a user belongs to all right so i can just make it three columns and um, once it's created as you can see roles and i'm just going to call the first one id or your first should be an id should have an 11 uh, this of 11 and i should auto increment and you're going to click ok and the second one is going to we can just call it name the third one can just call it um comments okay so we're just trying to create user role the name should be variable character the comment should be variable character and um let's just say it's 255 of length and uh, this is going to be 255 of length it's just going to give us a description of what the name is of what the um, role is and of course the comment can be null but the name cannot be null and uh, now we've done this we can just click save so we've created the roles table so we're going to go to cake php's um role and uh, kick php is bake and um, bake that's just like the way we baked the users so we are going to go to um, kick kick off click on it and then we can bake from here right click boom command window and say kick bake um bake rules or so we hit enter then we wait of course um, you don't need the internet connection it's just going to bake all so it appears we screwed it over because um, I think this should be reversed it should be kick bake all rolls so we just click oops where are we getting this wrong kick bake um, rolls okay I don't know why it was throwing an error but I finally got it working by just um, running um cake bake all rolls so this is the name of the table just cake bake all rolls it will bake the models and everything we need so which means if we go back to our, our code we'll go to src and we check out the views oops if we check out the templates we're supposed to see rows as you can see rows so which means if we come to our, our, our app and we just say roles we're gonna see the different roles and of course um, as you can see I will take care of this error we're going to see the different roles and um, we're going to um, see other things so only admin should have access to roles and be able to create a new role so we're going to add roles here and then we're going to of course remove this column and take care of this error so from the error we have, it appears we still have to do some one more thing, which is if we come here to our code, it's saying on line 93, undefined variable role. We just need to check whether the variable exists before we proceed. So on line 93, we didn't check if it exists. So we can put this inside an if statement. We can say if if um, this guy exists. Okay, so I believe this should sort our problem out. Oops. We should put a set. A set. If this guy is actually set. So, um, we check it out. And um, refresh and check. So, that's taken care of. So, we have to head off to the role index and remove this. So, we head off to role templates roles and uh, we are an in index and of course we just have to remove this we don't need it we delete it and we refresh and uh, this should be gone so we have roles so we need to add new roles if we click on new as you can see it's taking care of new role already because of the code we've written before so if we click on new role it brings us to this so we have to go to add and remove this too 
so we go to add and of course you can take your time to remove it in all the other places so we go to add and uh, remove this okay but instead of just removing it i can um i can just say rows we'll copy it and put it in the elements so let's just remove this we'll go to a logged in element go to the admin at the bottom where we have admin so we can put roles so instead of list users we can just say users we can just say roles and this takes us to roles controller we have to mention roles controller and um, roles so roles helps us to um, to identify the user that is viewing so what we can do is to um, the name the first guy is an admin and um, the super admin of this platform that's the description keep your eye here remember that we have we've added role so if we click submit it takes us to view it takes us there okay we're here and as you can see it has been added so the next thing we're going to do is to um, add more we just add the three of them so we just click new row a couple more rows won't hurt so we have a moderator the the staff managing this website or platform and we we'll click submit and finally we're going to add one more which is the the average the user so we can add user if you notice cake php makes the the compulsory fields it adds um this red icon or whatever by default if it's not compulsory it leaves it out so we're just going to click submit we don't need to explain what the user is all right so we have three rows admin and um, moderator and user in the next uh, video we will see how we can um, use this to know which user is logged in as admin so thank you see you